Mayor Pete was asked some decent questions for probably the first time in this race uh, since it began. And this is CBS This Morning. I believe this was last week. And look at how he deals with it. His response to a decent question is to BS everybody and then get really condescending. Watch. You have talked about a new generation of leadership. And if you became president, you would be the youngest president in history. And yet you don't have a majority of young voters in this country, according to polls. Is there a way in which you're out of touch with your own generation? No, but it is certainly no. the case that often then younger you candidates no tend to attract more support from older voters. But we are building a coalition that's going to draw voters from every part of this country. Uh, now, it's certainly you're at three and four percent among people under the age of 44 in South Carolina. It, it's almost as bad as minority voters. W what explains that gap? Look, uh, there's going to be a continued process to earn support across the coalition. But it's certainly the case that uh, many of the younger voters are more attracted to, uh, for example, uh, uh, you know, the Sanders campaign definitely has more young voters. Um, I was uh, a big fan of Bernie Sanders when I was 18 years old. Uh you know what he's doing there. He knows what he's doing there. <laughs> he's unbelievable, man. <laughs> He, he really is just massively unlikable. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm struggling with young voters, but when it comes to the young voters, I mean, pff, listen, a lot of them like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I liked Bernie Sanders when I was 18 years old. That's him saying like, yeah, 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 yeah. Young, naive, pie in the sky, silly idealists. They're not realistic about the world. So you grow out of that eventually. That's the argument he's trying to make. <laughs> uh, the funniest part about this is <laughs> the real reason why young people don't support him is the exact opposite of what he's saying. And what I mean by that is, as a general rule, and again, obviously it's not perfect, but as a general rule, younger voters are more uh, in tune, plugged in, online, and they research more. And they know more about the different candidates, and they know more about what they represent. And so, younger candidates don't support Mayor Pete because they know more about Mayor Pete. And they don't agree with him. They don't agree with you. Listen, we actually covered the numbers, man. 80%, I believe that exact number is 79% of young voters defined as, I think, under the age of 35. 79% support either Bernie... Elizabeth Warren, Bernie's number one, Elizabeth Warren, Tulsi Gabbard, and Andrew Yang. Isn't that funny? The four candidates who inarguably actually stand for something are the candidates that get the youth support. What does that say? If I ask a random person on the street, a random Mayor Pete supporter on the street, why is Mayor Pete running for president? Does anybody think they could give a direct answer? They'd have to tap dance all around it like Mayor Pete himself is known to do. But if you ask, go ask a Yang supporter why they support Yang. There's a very high likelihood their response will be universal basic income. And if it's not that, it'll be something else which is pretty direct and pretty straightforward. Go ask a Tulsi supporter. They'll say, I want to end the regime change wars. Go ask a Bernie Sanders supporter. They will probably say Medicare for all and fighting income inequality. Like, those are probably his two biggest things. Um, go ask a Warren supporter. Now, obviously, I have strong criticisms of Warren. I mean, I have criticisms of Yang and Tulsi and Bernie, too, obviously, to different degrees. But in the case of Warren, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that her big thing is Wall Street regulation and the wealth tax. Those are, like, her biggest things. So if you ask a Warren supporter, that one may be a little more mixed, but in general, I think from at least 5 out of 10, you'll get a pretty decent policy answer. All the other candidates, they don't even really know why they're running. They can't even really tell you why they're running. They're running because they're malignant narcissists, and they want the name and the power associated with being president. I mean, Mayor Pete, uh, he, by the way, he was in on the anti-Bernie Sanders meeting when, when establishment Democrats were plotting how to take down Bernie. He was in those meetings. It included Pelosi, Schumer, and many others. So it's like the meeting of the cabal of corporatists, and he was there. Mayor from South Bend, Indiana. It's a miracle he's gotten this far.
But yeah, his whole thing is crumbling in front of us. Remember the story we covered last week? Man, what an insufferable story that was about how he was asked why he's not releasing his um, his big money bundlers and, and, you know, who his funders are. And they're like, can't, can't you release them? You're the pre- you're the candidate. Can't you just demand they be releasing? He's like, yes. They're like, okay, well, will you tell us why you're not releasing them? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he has these moments when he's pissed off he has these moments of being too honest and when he's too honest it just shows him to be like a rank corporate tool um but yeah that was a moment right there where he couldn't contain his smugness the smugness just oozes out of Mayor Pete <laughs> I liked Bernie too when I was 18 years old well then you should go back to being 18 <laughs> I know that's not possible I'm just saying <laughs> Because uh, Bernie actually pretty clearly stands for a philosophy of social democracy. Whereas you are a neoliberal centrist corporatist hack, who's again a status quo manager, which we've had so many of them and not much changes.